practice in like a month? Uh, well, the schedule was kind of crazy. Um, so yeah, I mean, but it is what it is. You know, it's preset, so we just make the best out of it. What did y'all focus on today? Um, you know, overall, I want to say to this, like we obviously stay true professionals. We're going to focus on basketball, getting our rest and, and doing the things that we have to do. But, you know, on the other side, the reason why we practice, you know, I want to express my condolences for, for families involved, um, friends involved and everybody else, because, you know, it's, it's a very sad tragedy. So we, we, we stay professional, we do our work, but um, I think, you know, that's a little bit bigger right now. And that's why I leave the practice out. Okay. Thank you. I know you're just now back into the grind of kind of playing every other day, but what do you see as the benefit of practice when you don't get much of it? Uh, just going back to the basics, you know, and then getting that back into the into the game. Um, you know, when you don't get the time for that, especially with a lot of guys out that we had, um, it's tough to just go back and, 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 and implement the basics again that we didn't have time for. And when you've got a long term injury like you had, and there's not much practice time, what's that like? You watch a lot of film, um, you know, you try to focus, stay mentally at least in shape if you can't do it physically. And then, you know, the hard hard thing is to, to come back and just like find the conditioning and rhythm and everything in, in practice, but uh, in, in the game. Um, but overall, I think we did a great job with the rehab, getting me physically ready to step back out there. Max, when you see the team but at full strength and the ceiling that's there, because it's been really good when you guys have been full strength, how excited is this group about the potential of getting to that level again? showing that it's better than what you guys have been able to show in this sport with the limited I mean, it's, it's very exciting, but at the same time, we got to stay humble because, you know, just because everybody's back doesn't mean everything is going to go right. So, you know, we still got to focus on our work. Everybody got to focus on their role and what they have to do. But obviously the potential is there, especially with Kai and Luke on the offensive end running the show. Um, you know, like everybody else got to know what we have to do and especially get on the defense end, uh, defensive end a little bit better. You're trying to win every game, I know, but what do you think the stand is starting to become more important? Is it January 1? Is it before yeah. that? Is it <laughs> I personally think that they're always uh, important, you know, because you want to win, you want to <coughs> position yourself in the best way possible for the playoffs. Um, so I think we should take every game serious, no matter what. Yeah. Kind of going off that, here's your plan with Celtics coming up. Uh, what do you think it'll take to just win that game? What can you learn from that game? Uh, you know, mental composure, staying together, playing hard and physical, you know, meet them first, set a tone, um, just going out with the right energy. Do you view those kind of games as a magic stick in any way? I mean, I, th I think everybody does, you know, like um, it's been like the one year when we had a good run and the next year everybody tries to come in here and uh, try to test us. I think that the same thing happens to, to Boston. They play really great basketball. That's why they are where they are. Um, and, you know, we just got to approach it with the right energy, as I said. Matt, so you said, you know, what this team has to do defensively. What are some of those aspects on the, on the defensive end that you have to improve on? Uh, one thing is like overall energy um, and, then, you know, everybody individually taking pride in like making the right place and the other one is like just communicating better you know there was like especially last game LA, there were a lot of miscommunications that can't happen like in, in basic rotations and stuff like that that's what we got to clean up and stay consistent with it and then also, also you're, you've been back for three games just how do you feel physically and mentally uh i feel good you know obviously it's going to take some time to get like the old conditioning back in the rhythm but overall i'm just very happy to be back out there I guess this is ancient history, but we really haven't had a chance to talk to you. So you came back one game, re-injured it. To well, the extent you can, what happened? We, uh, so the first game it happened, I don't remember the exact date, against Chicago. Um, and then, you know, we took some time off because it happened in the same game again. Um, then we took a week off. Um, treated it and everything was fine and uh, then we taped it tried to like stabilize it and that game it happened in, in the second half again so the first half was all good we took the risk of seeing um, if it if it should stay stable and didn't so after that we knew it needs the time to heal and okay. become stable again and so that's why we had to take the time unfortunately I just had a question about uh, Lucas <laughs> pass to you last game does that ever catch you by surprise or are you, are you ready for that that one caught me by surprise did it <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Max. Thank you guys. Perfect. Thank you. Thanks, Go ahead, guys. How's Kyrie's hip? Good. He practiced. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And we saw I saw Hexum getting us some shots. Does that yeah. mean he's getting closer? Uh, he did everything uh, non-contact wise today, so um, he's good. Okay. 
is everybody else able to practice who's been practicing? Or I wouldn't shouldn't say who's been practicing because you haven't practiced in a month. Right. But who's been playing? Yeah, everybody practice. Everybody uh, who's been playing practice. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so how did it feel to actually, not the circumstances you would want to have a practice, but yeah, you think, were able to get out there and have a practice? Yeah, unfortunately, uh, with the you know passing uh, of the coach, uh, we, we're, we're having practice uh, because of the circumstances, uh, but I think uh, being able to uh, get some practice in uh, to review some of the concepts, uh, both offensively and defensively, uh, was good today. Just going up against the Celtics team, very talented team. What can you guys learn from that game? Uh, from the Celtics? Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, they're one of the best teams in the league. Uh, they've been to the finals here uh, a couple of times. Just understanding uh, they're well coached. Uh, they present uh, with Tatum and Brown being able to score. Przingis, uh, you look at White, he's uh, playing at a high level. So, uh, you know, they, they have a, a, they're a very talented team. Um, and so it's going to be a great test for us on Monday. Jason, the coaching world is such a small circle. Yeah. So many, you guys know each other so well. When, when something like this happens, a tragedy like this, does it just rock the whole community? And that, as you know, people on the staff, I don't know how you yeah. Can you speak to that a little bit? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, life is fragile and just understanding uh, not just for players, but for coaches, uh, for an organization. And unfortunately, the passing of uh, Dayon here, um, you know, it's, you never want anything like that um, to happen. Um, but just it puts things in perspective uh, quickly, and uh, we all understand, uh, you know, it's it's something that we have to take serious in our health. Uh, again, not just as players, but as coaches, we have to be able to, uh, you know, make sure we do our medical checks um, because anyone can, you know, be touched. And unfortunately, it's the Warriors that are going through this right now. Jason, with all the injuries this season, a lot of them, uh, you still find yourself six games above 500. What areas have you and the coaches have, have grown um, throughout those injuries? Yeah, I think uh, we always talk about the next man up mentality. Uh, you know, understanding uh, injuries are part of this uh, league. Uh, every team is going to go through it at some point. It just happens that we've gone through it here early. Uh, but I think you give the guys credit. Uh, they've been prepared, uh, uh, not just the players, but the coaches, helping the guys understand what's coming. And, uh, and to be six games uh, above 500 is, is good. Now, do we, or do we want to be better? Yes. Um, but uh, we are where we are. And I think the big thing is uh, as we get healthy, it's going to be another, you know, opportunity uh, for rhythm to change again because, you know, we have been hurt. Um, and so uh, sometimes when you do get healthy, uh, minutes go down, uh, rotations change. So we have to go through that, too. The sooner we can go through that, the, the sooner that we can uh, be judged. And I apologize if this question has been asked, but we see Dante back out on the court. Um, how, just how good does it feel to see him progress to help your team? Out? Yeah, it's great that he's uh, going in that direction when you talk about being out on the court. Uh, he's, he did everything non-contact today. Uh, and so hopefully tomorrow uh, will be another positive day where he's not sore and that he can do a little bit more. But um, again, he's going in the right direction, so we're excited to see him back on the floor. Back on the subject of evaluating, I was wondering the other day, I was trying to think the other day, like, who, how good are the Mavericks? Who are the Mavericks? Do you, have you seen enough on the floor to actually know the answer to that question or the potential? Yeah, I think uh, the potential is uh, we have the potential to be a really good team. Um, being healthy is uh, is going to be key. Uh, shooting the ball is also going to be key. You know, when you look at being able to produce uh, the third most threes in the corner and only you know being only shooting it at a 25, um, you know, 25th in percentage, you know, that's not going to you know we got to be better. You know, and so shooting is a big thing for us. We're a team that shoots a lot of threes. Uh, but also, I think just again our health. When you, without D Live, we get small. Uh, with Maxi back, we get a little bit bigger. Um, but just uh, we're going to have to once we get whole, we're going to have to go through it again of understanding our roles and, and understanding the rotations. Um, and the sooner we can get healthy, the better off we'll be. 
Oh, one more question, if you don't mind. You, guys, you haven't complained about it, uh, just the lack of practice time. It's obviously a subject. As you said the other week, or about a week ago, it's messed up. The schedule's messed up for everybody, meaning everybody in the NBA. Yeah. What is, do you, is there a fix in mind? I mean, would you, would you propose opening the this, this season window a little bit? Then I think it's 171 days. What would be the solution to fixing lack of practice time? That's a great question. Um, just thinking off the top, uh, you know, maybe in, if you only have 170 days, I think you said, or 171, I think it would have to be more back-to-backs to be able to get the two days in between. Um, I'm, and I'm uh, just thinking out loud. Um, now, do the players want to play more back-to-backs? Uh, but um, there's just not enough practice time. And, and, and unfortunately, you're playing every other day. Um, Injuries are a part of this, uh, but there has to be something has to be looked at of being able to have more two a days in between games uh, at some point for practice. Uh, the, the league is as young as it's ever been, um, and so I think practice is, is important. Um, but right now, there is there's no time to practice. Appreciate it. Yep. Thank you, Coach. Thank Cheers. you.